Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 11, 11. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. We're going to jump into this message again. Holy Spirit, angels, and the highest white light in the most high. Please give me correct and entering for the collective. What's going on? I'm pulling narcissist karmic energy coming out right away, okay? Narcissist karmic energy. That's why I grab my narcissist karmic cards. We can be dealing with a narcissist a karmic. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, somebody, somebody said that you belong together, like, right now. Like, somebody says, like, they think you're their territory, their property. Okay, I'm getting this territory property out, okay? Okay, territory property coming out here. I hacked your phone, TV, cameras, hidden, okay? So somebody hacked your accounts, hacked into your phone, your TV, your computers, whatever, have hidden cameras, they're watching you, okay? This person's watching you. This narcissist is watching you. All I can do is lie to protect myself. They are doing spells... They are they are doing spells, black magic on that on you and on other people. Okay, doing spells, black magic. Okay, so th there's a narcissist that um is stalking you. Okay, narcissist stalking you, watching you. They're saying that you belong to them. Okay, you're their territory, they're their property. Okay, territorial. Okay, like they can't if they can't have you, nobody else can have you. Is what I'm getting out of this situation here. Okay, they've been watching you. Okay, they've been taking pictures, cameras. This is sick energy. Somebody needs to get some help. Somebody needs to see a psychiatrist or psychologist. Um, I, am ter I am terrified that you will meet someone new. Like I said, if no one else can have you, they don't want anyone else to have you. They're terrified you met somebody new or you're going to. Okay, so they're trying to stop this. Okay, they're trying to stop this. They could be trying to make you go crazy. Okay, because they're doing spell work. Make you feel like you lost your mind or make you feel low. Okay, this person is really narcissist, okay? Wow, I don't know why. They can't be famous and you can't. Okay, so you could be in the limelight or like popular or looked up upon or like a leader or influencer. And if you, if they can't be, then they don't want you to be. So they could be doing spell work on this. Because it says, if I can't be famous, then I won't let you. Okay, so they could be stalking you because of that too. Okay, so like, that's again, territory. They, if they can't have you, if they can't have something, then they need, you can't have it. So they're trying to stop you from having this. This could be an ex-lover, ex-father, ex-mother. Okay, because I just heard, why can't I be with my, my child's mother or father? Okay, I heard mother. Why can't I be with my child's mother? So this could be an ex of yours as well. Okay, wants to be back with you and like knows, like he said, property and thinks that, that you're theirs because of you guys having a child together as well. Um, spreading dirty little secrets on you because I can. This person's spreading rumors, spreading secrets, lies on you because they can. They get away with it. They think they can. I know who you are and what your purpose is and wanted to stop you. This person knows your purpose. This person knows what your mission is, okay? This person could have been looking at your birth chart, been doing research, finding out information about you, numerology, astrology. This person is into occult practices, dark arts, okay? So they're looking into your life, especially your, your birth chart. Because if they know your purpose or your your mission in life, big time with your mission, purpose, they know your birthday. They know your birthday. They know where you're born, what city you lived in, what state, whatever. That's why you're not supposed to give me all your birth information unless you can really trust somebody because they can use it against you. This person used it against you, okay? You shared your birth information, where you're born, your birthday, what time, and they can do a birth chart on you. And then they can know your purpose or even neurology, okay? Astrology. Somebody really digged into this, okay, because they wanted to stop your purpose. Okay, they really want to stop this. This stalker. This is your energy coming out. This card isn't supposed to be in there, I don't think. This is actually supposed to be a different deck, but I'm going to take it. Um, this is supposed to be my Divine Feminine um, cards. I'm enlightened and have clarification now, and you know, and no, know it's not you. Okay, so you ha you're enlightened. This is my Divine Feminine. It could be Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine, Masculine. But you have clarification now, okay? And you know that this person is not who you're meant to be with. This person is not meant to be in your circle or in your life, okay? Or part of your purpose, part of your path, part of your journey, okay? You know that now because you're enlightened, Cause that, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's feminine energy. It's my way or no way. Okay. It's my way or no way. This person thinks it's their way or no way. And I'm like getting these cards all confused, messed up. See, my narcissist and my karmics are the green and purple. My divine feminine was a pink one. That's why. Okay, one more. Oh, this is my karmics from the streets. 
and like Narcissus. One more. Thank you. I have plenty of time to play games. So this person thinks they have a lot of time to play games. They must not have a job. They have nothing be else to do, better to do. And then the other one was I put I put spells on people and want me to be popular. So somebody's been putting spells on other people to be popular. Okay. I've done spells, black magic on DM and DF children. Okay, so this person does a lot of spell work. Okay, does a lot of spell work, manipulation. Okay, like I said, occult practices. This person plays in the dark arts. Okay, dark arts in dark magic. Just to try to um, win. Okay, try to be better. This isn't going to be an extra long reading. I know I would say that, but I am going to have to stop at a certain time. Like, Yeah. Fail spell work, okay? This spell work that they've been doing on you and others is failing. Okay, it's backfiring. It's boomeranging back on them. Okay, so them stalking you now, they could be getting stalked. This person that's been stalking you, this narcissist that's been stalking you, could be getting stalked now. Okay? They could be getting stalked now, being watched. Could be watched by the police. By others. Because everything it goes back on you. Okay, so whatever they've been doing is going back on. If they've been doing spell work to keep you away from your, your purpose, your mission, now it's keeping them away from their purpose mission. If they're trying to keep you from being famous, now it's keeping them actually from being famous when they could actually let you be famous and they could be famous on their own. That's what they don't realize. So the same thing, okay, so here's an example. If I, if, there, if there's a reader out there I don't like, okay, I'm just, I'm, you guys, please don't, I'm just saying, if there's a reader I don't out there like and like I feel like they're targeting me, Okay, say so I feel like they're targeting me, but if I go target them, it's just going to get back on me. So I'm not going to go wish any other reader out there, terror readers out there, bad luck. Or they don't get their their views or the likes or the shares and stuff like that. I'm not going to want to do that to my competition. And that's what some people do. I'm not going to want to do that to other people because that's going to happen to me. Okay, what I do unto others is going to happen to me. So if I'm wishing that a reader out there doesn't ever get her views or doesn't get any subscribers, subscribers and doesn't get her videos, or him, her or him, that's going to happen to me. So I can't be wishing that or doing spell work on somebody. I, what I do, to uh, this is something I'm going to tell you guys that's helping me and stuff, is I believe every reader and every person that's on YouTube should get their videos out there. I know like there's a certain way and everyone can't do that, but I'm not going to wish any ill on any reader out there, especially in the tarot community or spiritual, to not get their views or likes, because then it's going to happen to me. So I'm praying for everybody to get views, to get likes, to get subscriptions, to share their videos, okay? Even if the, even if I don't, if they're not my type of person and stuff, I'm not going to wish they're my competition. That's the difference. People compete with other people. Yes, there's how many tarot readers out there? And yes, I'm competing with them, but I don't let that, I worry about myself. That's one thing. At first, when spirits like other, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many to compete with. I have to compete with this person, that person, that person. And they're getting so many reviews. And spirits like, stop worrying about them. Don't worry about their readings. Don't worry about their views. Because you're different than them. They're different than you. There's different people that are going to watch yours. There's different people that are going to watch them. Wish the best for them. Pray, manifest for them that they get what they need too. Because there's going to be different. They have to reach a different audience than you. Okay, so I have to reach a different audience than me. So that's what I'm trying to say is. So instead of wishing ill on your enemy. Wish good for them. Because then it's going to come back on you. So by me. For example, there's a reader out there that really hated me. Okay, she put me on blast. She hated me. She says I was stealing her content. Blah, 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 blah over a year ago, a year and a half ago. And I didn't even watch her. I didn't know who she was, okay? I just let it be. I let it be. And I, I prayed for her to have her channel, to get her download, whatever. I prayed best for her and w moving forward. And then that's, you know what happened? All of a sudden, my channel started growing. My channel started growing after that when she attacked me. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't know what, but she attacked me. Literally attacked me and all that stuff. And I wasn't even putting the same messages out as her. I, w I do different cards. I do crime readings, okay? And she does. she only does zodiac signs. Okay, I don't do zodiac signs. Here, I'm going to tell you. And spirits like, don't let her get to you. There's other people that need her help, her assistance, and she has her channel. You worry about you and just pray for her and let it be. And guess what? Seriously, two weeks later, my views started going up. My channel started going up. My yellow thing started going off. Like all of a sudden, I started getting my money back. Like my ad revenue started going back, and like everything started working out for me because I was wishing good on her. 
So it's coming back on me. So this person that was doing this to you, doing this bell work, doing all this stuff to you, if they don't want you to be famous, it's actually making them not be famous. So instead of them, what this person should be doing, if they want to be famous, then they need to be praying and manifesting that you become famous. You become a celebrity, an influencer. So they're, they're only stopping themselves. This nurse is only stopping themselves. Same thing. They're doing spell work so people can't come to you. They're, they're trying to stop you from your purpose. By them doing the spell work to stop you from your purpose, they're stopping their own purpose. They're stopping their own purpose. It's going to take you a little bit longer, but because you're not going back at them and trying to stop somebody else, you will be flour you will be flourishing, okay? You will be flourishing. You will be successful. You will step in your purpose. You know what I mean? That's why it says fail spell work. Because this person's doing the opposite. It's cause and effect. What you do onto others comes back onto you. So when you want it, you, if you... Like I said, if you want, if you want to be a successful tarot reader, believe that other people are successful as well. Wish and pray for them as well. This could be a doppelganger as well. Okay, I'm the bottom of the deck doppelganger. Someone trying to be you and copycat what you're doing. So this could be a doppelganger trying to copycat what you're doing. Okay. They're trying to stop you from being safe, stable and structured and have a foundation, solid foundation. It's only doing it to themselves. It's only doing it to themselves. They're only hurting themselves. Okay, and it's actually pushing you, it's giving you what you need and want. And Spirit told me, when I started praying for that girl, and I started praying and telling, wish that everything goes well, and that she just leaves me alone and she does her own thing, and then, like I said, it's good things started happening for me. And Spirit's like, yes, that's how it's going to happen. Good things are going to happen to you because you didn't, you didn't retaliate, you didn't stoop to that level. Release your person acts, okay? Something about releasing, they're hurt because they're cursing themselves, their family and friends, okay? They're cursing their family. And hexing themselves. Trying to hex you. Trying to curse you. But then they're cursing themselves. This stalker. This narcissist. Okay. Doing black magic. Dark magic. Spirit is keeping you distracted for a reason. See? And spirit kept me distracted. Spirit told me to worry about myself. That's what spirit told me. Spirit told me to worry about myself. Don't worry about the other channels. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about the other readers. Their views. Their likes. Their shares. What's happening with them. Okay? What's meant to happen is meant to happen. This person's abusing their power. So if they want to do spell work on me, for example, if they want to do spell work on my channel and they try to stop mine, it's going to stop them from doing whatever they want or whatever they want. Okay, it's going to stop that. It, it may not be right away, but it's going to eventually happen. Someone is being possessed by a demon. This person being this narcissist possessed by a demon that's stalking you, stopping you. you your presence is healing and full of love and light. Okay, see, your presence is healing, full of love and light. Twelve twenty one twenty one, something will happen. Okay, it's just a twelve twenty one a portal. It's because something big is gonna happen. You're following your intuition now and letting go of, letting go and, letting go, or letting ego take over. Okay, not letting ego. You're following your soul, your intuition now and not letting your ego take over. Okay, so that's the thing. Is, yeah, see, if she was coming at me, and saying. You know what she's saying to me? And if I went back to her, like, I, I wish she didn't get any views. I wish everything bad happened in her life. That means that I'm letting my ego take over my reptilian brain. And I'm hurting her, which is going to end up hurting me back. So I started letting my soul guide me. My intuition guide me. Okay? And you are too. Because you are very stable and structured. Okay? This is a female karmic energy that's been doing this. A stalker. Okay? I just heard this narcissist stalker has been stalking you and now being stalked back and doing the spell work. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way though. These ones at least. So hard to shovel them all there. You may have to get an attorney or lawyer because of the stalker. You may have to file a harassment order or a restraining order. This person the ego hungry, power hungry. They owe you apology. Age is between 30 and 40. Middle age. Spying on you. Throwing salt on your name. Okay, this person's throwing salt on your name as well. 
they're stalking you and they don't they don't want you with anybody else but they're throwing salt on you and talking shit about you but then like they want to be with you justice prevails see justice being served court case one wrong card your case is winning in the spiritual realm you're winning your case in the spiritual realm okay justice will be served for what they've done to you ages between 40 and 50 crabs in a barrel competition see they're com competing with you they want a competition they like but that's the thing you just keep doing you keep doing you don't worry about them okay don't worry about these other people don't worry about how they're doing okay don't don't worry about it okay just just worry about what you need to do and um take care of yourself okay because they're satanists just do you they have some kind of illegal protection that they're actually going to lose came out and inverted so they could have some kind of help inside help and they no longer have this anymore okay because of the fact that they were attacking you or hurting you or doing the spell work and so maybe somebody found out that they're doing spell work against you trying to stop you and now this legal protection is like i'm done i'm not helping you anymore okay and that could be because of god god should have shown these people that were like protecting this person because it says like you know using their legal connections for their personal agenda having connects on the inside being bailed out of situations this person's no longer gonna get bailed out of situations this person's no longer have inside help connections they're gonna lose resources they're gonna lose everything because of what they've done to you and others because they've been trying to block your blessings and this can block them they've been watching they've been but they've been enjoying watching others suffer fetish so now people are going to watch them suffer they've been watching you suffer or other people that are hurting and now they're going to be suffering they thought they, they, they were enjoying this this fetish seeing that you were struggling you were you were struggling you weren't able to move forward okay you you couldn't figure things out but now you are moving forward and now they're going to be struggling Thank you. Family drama, civil rivalry, mother, father, bestie, coworker, cousin, friend, family, friend, grandparents. This could be a family friend, bestie. This could be them trying to also stalk you and go through your family. Okay. They could be trying to stalk your family or go through your family and have your family be involved in it as well. Okay. Or doing spell work on your family. Fight, argument, disagreement. They're a bully. Okay. Instigation, disagreement. You're going to have a very, very successful business. You're going to have a successful business. They're trying to stop that. If they had a successful business in the past, if they were successful, they're no longer going to be successful because they took, try to take from you. As I said, they're going to lose. They're going to lose it. Somebody, was, I'm hearing somebody was like really beautiful, handsome, good looking, and because they were doing spell work on other people to try to make somebody else look ugly, do glad spells to make somebody else look ugly and not beautiful, make them gain weight and lose weight. They're going to end up gaining weight, losing weight, and they're going to be ugly on the outside and inside. We have ages between 50 and 60. You're a warrior on the go, strength, power, go, go, go. Like you're, you're, you got this. Okay. You got this big. You can be a spiritualist. See here, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Okay, words are never going to hurt you. These are crazy clowns. These are people wearing masks. Okay, you took off the rose, co rose gold colored glasses and now you've seen this for who they are. Okay. Stepping away from it. Confirmation, stalkers. You're stepping away from it. Watch is unhinged, spying, unsubscribe. Okay, they're subscribed to your channel. They're watching you. They're following you. They're having other people. That's that confirmation. They can be stalking your home. Where you live, your place of employment, where you walk, where you go. Okay, I'm not trying to cause fear, but this is the truth. Look at they have like access to your your router, your computer, your phone, whatever. As I said, hidden camera. They access it. That flew over there. They're losing control now. Weakened, frantic, anxious, unhinged, chaotic, or menace, spazzy, demanding. They're losing control. They're heartbroken or you're heartbroken. This person disappointed you. Betrayal. It's an ending. Okay, see, here's confirmation from Master. Get ready, surprise, visit, contact message. This person may be showing up. This kind of, you may want to watch that video from Master, Unexpected Visitor. This stalker could be showing up at your house. 
some kind of contact or somebody else could be contacting you about the situation or you need like i said maybe you need to get a harassment harassment order or a restraining order they have an inferior lifestyle untrustworthy they're copycat fraud impersonation clones like i said copycat doppelganger and then ex still watching or invested in you as an ex it could be an ex friend too Breaking up happy homes, chaos agent, home record. This person trying to cause problems between you and your family in your home. Lying on you. Trying to poison you. Poison others. Pisces. Karmic friend coming against you. It's all right there. Like, but look at blockage removed. They blocked you. It's no longer. You're no longer blocked. You're no longer shadow banned. You're no longer suppressed. Okay? You're no longer censored. Okay? No longer. It's done. You get to speak your truth. This person's been dealing with the devil. Contract, money, clout, fame, initiation, fortune. You have, look at, they're dealing with the devil and you have the real power. God-given power. Star, strength, leader. Natural gifts. These come to you naturally. They have to work hard. They have to, they have to try to sell their soul. They have to do things that, you know, do with the devil to have what they need to do spell work. You don't need to do spell work. You're natural. It all comes to you naturally. You don't need to do all this extra. This person had to do all this extra to try to not give you something. To try to keep you away from your purpose. They're doing way too much extra. And now, like, it's going to be causing them. But you no longer blocked. You connect right with spirit. They're just full of trash, too. Trash, you can be taken out. Somebody has a trashy house. Like, they need to take the trash out. Somebody needs to clean out their house. They need to take the trash out. Somebody has those dirty diapers everywhere. I'm not trying to be mean, but you, somebody throws dirty diapers garbage everywhere. They don't put it in garbage can. Fucking take your trash out. Take it to the curb. Get it picked up. You're touching the world with your unique gifts. With your gifts. They don't want that. They're trying to stop you from that. They're trying to stop you from having that. But you've been enlightened. Remember, you've been enlightened. Okay? Clarification now. You've been, you've been enlightened. Let's get a couple of these and I'll give names to close out. This nosy neighbor could be stalking or you could go to your nosy neighbor. Okay, question your neighbor. Social media, stalking your social media, looking around. Fake accounts, fake emails. Written in the stars. What is meant for you is meant for you. It was already written out for you. Okay, you already signed a contract before coming here. This was written in the stars. And this could have been an X. Try and plant evidence on you. Scheming, plotting against you. Your light triggers their demons and exposes their shadows and triggers... Exposes their shadows and triggers... Trigger parts they don't want to heal. Okay, your light triggers their demons and exposes their shadows and triggers parts they don't want to heal. That's why. They can't stop you from accessing your spiritual gifts. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. They can't stop you because God has ordained it. God is giving you these gifts and abilities and natural talents and all this stuff that's coming from God. It's coming straight from God. It's written in the stars. They keep scheming and plotting. They're just going to end up freaking digging a deeper hole for themselves. Because I'm hearing they're just digging a deeper hole for themselves. Scheming, plotting, planting evidence. Nosy neighbor. Like I said, they could be tired of the stalker. They could be talking to your nosy neighbor. Getting information. Karma's a bitch. Sure is. Thank you, spirit. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. Looking around, background check, asking people about you, going to your jobs. Like I said, going to your jobs, going to about going to school. Okay, where you where you socialize, where you, you go in the community, wherever you go, they're trying to get question people. This person, this person is a narcissist manipulator. Thank you, spirit. Trying to knock you down. Okay, trying to knock you down, but you are sexy as fuck. You are beautiful as an empress. You're a beautiful sign. Uh, Beautiful, kind soul, beautiful emperor, handsome emperor, all together, you're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, human being. Okay, Superman, you have Superman, Superwoman, okay, 
you have these abilities and talents. You are an alien from outer space, okay? You came from up above, like what Jesus says. I am not from this pl this place. I'm above you. You are below me. Jesus said that, you guys. He was extraterrestrial. I'm above you. You are below me. I am not from this place. That's the same thing. You are not from this place. You are a higher dimensional being. You have superhuman powers. Superwoman, superman, you have them. They come right from source, creator, God. Your maker. You access them. This person didn't want that, but you access them. They can't stop that. They can't stop what God has given you. It's going to blow up in their face. Boomerang, blow up right back in their face. Okay, I'm going to close this out. Oh, I need names. I only have 20 minutes, damn it. I took 15. Lincoln and Hugo. I don't know. Okay. I had a church with the boss. That's why. Alice. We have Alice, number four, important message. Okay. This is also structure, stability, loyalty, patience. Okay. Foundation, inner wisdom, strength. Toronto. Family full of lies. This person been lying. This could be part of your family. Your family could have been working with this person as well. This narcissist stalker. Tally. Eat it. Eat healthy fruits, veggies, and more water. Or tree tea. Okay, I'm drinking more tea, you guys, with no honey in it, which sucks. I love my honey, my tea, but it has a lot of carbohydrates. So it's like I'm drinking it, putting it in my body. Hollywood. I want to fuck now. Okay, somebody wants to fuck now. I guess I don't know. Energy coming out. This person may want to F you. Hawaii. Fire energy. Wands. Stewie. Wanting to communicate with you. Dante. Mind control. So this this narcissist, this stalker, has been mind controlling people, okay? Playing mind con mind games. Men in black. Maybe feeling stalked by men in black. Iceland. Astro travel interference. This person has been interfering in your astro travel. Page of Wands inverted. Okay, this person has been um, interfering in your astral travel. Bulgarian. They're going to be in trouble. Causing a lot of trouble. Shadow Agency. John Trell. Indianapolis. Champagne. Reverse Psychology. Strawberry. COVID. See, they're creeping. Creeping around. Burning down the house. This person and try to burn down somebody's house. Okay, this person go to jail. This person may try to burn down your house or end up gonna, their house is going to burn down because of all the magic they've been doing. So they may end up losing a home, a car, a shed, whatever, because of all the magic they've been doing. Red Hat Society. And then Skulls and Bones. Secret Society is coming out here. Okay, let's close this out. I was only going to have a 20 minute video, guys. Seriously, it's only been a 20 minute video. I didn't realize it was 30 minutes already. Wow. Okay, so see something about dance, celebration, partying. Okay, suspicion. You could have suspicion about this. Maybe you felt this. This is a suspicious person as well. Okay, this person thinks they're a genius, thinks they're smart, slick, sly. But look at their crazy clown. Someone could actually be a genius. Somebody could be like a scientist or like somebody could be actually smart. Somebody could actually be smart that's stalking you, that's a narcissist and thinks they can get away with it. 
okay? Somebody could actually have, like, a degree, okay? Went to school, okay? And then we have masks. They're hiding who they truly are, okay? They're hiding behind closed doors, hiding who they are. And the family's in there, too, so they could be coming to your family or, like, stalking your family or, like, getting information off your family. Okay, they could be stalking you at a dance, following you at, like, some kind of dance. Somebody could be in dance as well, a dancer, cheerleader, hip-hop dancer. I'm also seeing, I'm seeing a model as well because, like, you know, dances are dressed up models or celebrity. This person has some kind of addiction. They forgot who they are. Okay, they forgot they come from God. Okay, forgot oneself. They forgot that they come from God, from divine. Okay, now they're worse from Satan. Now they're, they're being possessed by the, de dem the devil, demon. Wow. Holy shit. They're fated to suffer. Fated to suffer, and this one came out too. Artificial heart, fake heart, black heart, heart, soul. Okay, a hole in the soul. Someone could, this person ended up having heart problems as well. Have a heart attack. Someone could have a heart murmur, heart problem, a stroke. Okay, something about a stroke, heart attack, heart problem. Yeah, this is a warning. This is a warning for this person that has been doing spell work. Just stop doing it. Kelp on stop. Stop doing this because you're going to end up having a heart attack. I'm doing all the spell work. Okay? Accept yourself. Okay? Accept yourself. Accept God in. Someone needs to accept God in. Allow God in. Hell. See? Living in hell. Except it's knowing. And then somebody needs to rest. Hypnosis. Somebody's under hypnosis. See, this person has been trying to keep somebody under hypnosis. Injustice, Medusa. On the bomb. This nurse's stalker has been warned to stop stalking you, to stop doing spell work, to keep it at, keep it a rest, like stop, let it be, okay? Allow God in, accept God in. I want to see something here. Okay, I'm just going to read this beginning right here. Okay, so we're going to do this one quick. If you are giving a warning, you should heed it. If someone shows you who they are, believe them. Understand your current limitations, yet extend your skills. Your intuition may be asking you to be aware of danger. Pay to heed, okay? Be, uh, be, pay attention to this danger, okay? This danger of this person, okay? And like, spirit is telling this person that's been stalking you, this narcissist has been stalking you, that's been doing black magic, doing this. They need to, um... Take heed, okay? Because something bad is going to happen to them. Something bad is going to happen to them. A heart attack, some kind of brain aneurysm. Something bad is going to happen to them. A house fire, okay? Warning, ignorance. This person's ignorant, okay? Then we have acceptance, hell. Things can never stay the same. Change must be accepted. Be flexible. Keep walking through different circumstances. Do not stop and get stuck. Acceptance allows you to move on faster. Surrender what is no longer yours. This person needs to surrender. This narcissist stalker needs to surrender. Okay, they may accept, they may accept that you are who you are and that they cannot be with you anymore. Okay, they need to accept that they, they're not gonna be with you. They need to accept that their life is falling apart because of their own self, not because of you. Okay, then we have rest, hypnosis coming out. Hypnosis. Priorities, rest, and sleep. Allow yourself to dream. You need the grace of rest to be at your best. The unconscious has great depth and power to explore it. If it if you can use your imagination do not stay asleep to asleep to your pet potential awaken to your power asleep awake rest activity so you're resting this person needs to rest too this person needs to stop but you're waking up this person's trying to stop that someone try to keep you in hypnosis try to keep you from waking up from coming to your power this person needs to st like also with this rest card what i'm saying hearing about this rest with stopping they need to stop because all this this dark magic occult stuff this spell work that they're doing it's, it's draining them. It's making them sick. It's making them sick because they don't rest. They stop. They keep going and going. That's what they're saying. They need a rest. They need to stop. Stop. Someone needs a reality check. Like, somebody needs to actually be, like, 
it's locked in a padded room. I don't know why I just heard that. Locked in a padded room. But I can't do any kind of spell work. Can't do anything. Supposed to be a 20 minute video. Dang. Thank you, Spirit. 611. Spirituality, new beginnings, connections, never lose a part of you. And see, they need to find Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They need to find God. Mind, body, and soul. The triad, the trinity, okay? Mind, body, and soul. Have fun. Be happy. You don't need something or someone to be happy. Finding a balance. Making right choices. This person needs to start making right choices. They're making bad decisions, bad choices. They're hurting people, inflicting harm. We have Taurus, Pisces, Aries, and Capricorn in number two. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.